Did you know that 20% of all adults report some kind of disability, according to the U.S. Census Bureau? That's a lot of people you don't want to leave out. Designing for accessibility is the law. All federal and state agencies must meet 508 standards. Making sure your digital content is accessible and usable for people with disabilities takes some tech savvy. At Monarch Media, we will make sure your content succeeds with this important audience. Click on one of the following signs to find out more. Jargon Buster. The Nitty Gritty. Usability versus Accessibility. Case Study. You've just been told your course needs to be 508 compliant. What does that mean? Section 508 is a law enacted in 1998 that requires all technology developed for the federal government to be accessible to those with disabilities. Those with disabilities include individuals with visual, auditory, motor, and cognitive impairments. These individuals often use assistive technology, such as screen readers, which interpret what is shown on the screen. The most widely used screen readers include JAWS and Microsoft Narrator. Click on one of the following signs to find out more. What are the Section 508 requirements? There are 16 standards that an online course or site must meet to comply with Section 508. We'll review some of the most critical requirements. First, the user must be able to navigate the course using a keyboard instead of a mouse. Many people with disabilities cannot use a mouse. For example, can you perform an action such as answering questions electronically using the Enter key instead of a mouse? When the learner uses the Tab key, does the cursor move in a logical order or flow? The cursor should move top to bottom, left to right, or flow according to the content. Second, all items must be readable by a screen reader for visually impaired users. Screen readers cannot read non-text items such as images and buttons. The two most commonly used techniques to overcome this obstacle include alt tagging or alt text. Either of these two options allow the screen reader software to read the description of the image or button to the visually impaired learner. Third, there should be closed captioning or transcripts for audio or video. When this requirement is met, people with auditory or visual impairments can read the audio and the descriptions of what's happening on the screen even if they cannot see it or hear it. The fourth major requirement relates to online forms. Individuals with disabilities must be able to complete and submit the form using assistive technologies such as screen readers and the keyboard. For instance, the user should be able to navigate the form using only the keyboard. Click on one of the following signs to find out more. What makes a course usable for those with disabilities? You might be able to check off all the items on the 508 Accessibility Checklist, but that doesn't mean that your product is practically usable. Here are some questions you can ask yourself as you consider these usability issues. Do your video transcripts effectively describe the actions? Are there enough guideposts? For example, many books are being converted into ebooks but frequently lack navigation. A person using a screen reader can't scan text the way a sighted person can. Adding navigation helps users find what they need more easily. Are all required actions understandable? For example, if you use a drag and drop interaction, 
the instructions for keyboard shortcuts need to be clear and easy to use. If a learning management system allows file uploads using drag and drop, the alternate file upload method needs to be the first thing a screen reader encounters. Are terms with inferred meaning explained? For example, a learner who has been deaf from birth might not understand that slamming the door often infers that a person left angrily. Click on one of the following signs to find out more. Thinking about usability for learners with disabilities is different than checking for accessibility. While today's technology makes things easier to access, design still needs to address ease of use for everyone. For instance, Monarch Media works with PepNet2, an organization that serves the deaf and hard of hearing community in education. Although focused on a deaf and hard of hearing audience, their requirements are to meet the needs of people with all types of disabilities. To help them accomplish this, we design accessible drag-and-drop exercises that make learning fun for people with all disability types. Click on one of the following signs to find out more.